Tonight, the Target 12 investigators dig deeper into a zoning controversy that's dragged on for more than a decade. Past mayors had big plans for this stretch of Providence waterfront, home to a giant pile of metal now. It was supposed to become a massive development of shops, condos, and businesses. So what happened? We tracked down a local developer who says the city may have lost out on millions of dollars. And we talked to local leaders who say they have a new vision for the waterfront. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details. Target 12 tracked down a small stack of slick ideas for the Allens Avenue waterfront dating back 14 years. The look of Allens Avenue near the water would have been drastically different under a 1999 proposal called Three Cities. Well, we started the idea of moving the railroad tracks. Mayor Cianci offered graphic details with this video showing condos and commerce rising above the bay. I'd say that this is an easier project. Six years later, in 2005, a 60-page booklet was presented by Mayor Cicilline. Providence 2020 called the Allens Avenue area the Bayfront, with plans proposing a hotel, cafes and shops, and light industrial use. Now city leaders are following a third plan, Providence Tomorrow. The goal now is building up the industrial infrastructure for a working waterfront. Third plan in 10 years, are you confident this plan is the plan? I think it's the best plan. It's jobs oriented. A bit more specific. Developer Pat Conley owns two acres of land on Allen's right in the middle of the area. I've renamed Allen's Avenue uh, down to Thurbis as the Scrapalation Trail. Conley was a strong supporter to change the zoning to allow businesses like shops and hotels, but the measure never made it out of the ordinance committee, killing Conley's plans. Court documents offer what Conley considers a twist involving one plot of the waterfront land. In 2005, Tidewater Realty entered into a contract with the DEM to buy 242 Allens Avenue for just over $1.1 million. Under the Cicilline administration, the city tried to block the deal and buy the land, but Tidewater sued and won. In 2011, about a year after that lawsuit was settled, Sims Metal Management bought the property for $12.5 million. An $11.5 million flip. Target 12 talked with a number of commercial property experts, and they tell us between 2005 and 2011, commercial property values in Providence went down. But during that same period, 242 Allens Avenue went up by 1,100%. Conley argues the stalled rezoning ordinance played a role in the profitable sale. That money should have gone to the taxpayers, either to the state or to the city, which, by the way, blew the opportunity to take advantage of the purchase at the $1,138,000 mark. The land deal aside, city leaders now say waterfront shops and condos won't work here. Well, the marketplace told Mr. Conley he was wrong. The area is severely contaminated. Uh, has been contaminated for years, and so it's not appropriate to have you know, young children out in, in contaminated uh, parts of the city. Um, however, it is a great place for uh, uh, exporting and importing goods. Bennett would not offer a prediction for how many jobs might be created or when we might see the first of these jobs on the Providence working waterfront. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. The investigation continues online. Use our interactive timeline to see the history of this waterfront area for yourself. From the various development plans calling for condos and shops to the current state of the land. It's all on foxprovidence.com.